start working on the office downstairs. Running a parish is a big responsibility, one Father Henry Torres is taking on. Can you call back and, and see if we got the message? He's the new administrator of Mary of Nazareth Parish in Fort Greene. I didn't think I was going to get called this, this soon. The call makes him the youngest administrator in the Diocese of Brooklyn right now. These are big shoes to fill, so it's exciting times, nervous times, but most importantly, a time to learn. At 30, Torres is the second youngest in the diocese ever. Last year, the Vatican releasing data showing a pre-shortage, but here in the U.S., bishops are reporting a steady enrollment when it comes to seminarians. Father Torres' appointment is another good sign. It's a tremendous sign of hope and encouragement that we have young men who are willing to, uh, to enter into this responsibility and take it on for the greater good of the people of God. Monsignor Sean Ogle, the vicar for clergy in the Diocese of Brooklyn, says there's a lot of support for young priests. Youth has its advantages and experience and age have their advantages too. And I think what every organization wants uh, is uh, a, a healthy mixture of the two. Father Torres will be learning how to run not one, but two churches. Not easy, but he's never shied away from a challenge. I love a challenge. I thrive out of out of challenges and, and out of um, trials. One major trial, two kidney transplants that ultimately put him on a fitness journey, losing 50 pounds. One, two. Using that experience to get the kids from his former church excited about fitness too. A strong connection with the younger generation that longtime parishioner Claudia Cruz is excited about. And I think that's a good thing because he can influence younger teens to become one day hear the word of God and become a priest. That's a big part of his new role. He'll also build up the church community, renovate and overhaul the parish's web presence. A lot of work, but Father Torres is ready. In Fort Greene, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.